You know, high school coaches have to face questions throughout their career. Perry Watson of Southwestern will continue to have to face questions, but as Ray Lane joins him right now, I know there's one question that he won't have to answer anymore. Well, of course, you're saying that right now that, uh, no, he's never going to be a bridesmaid. This guy has been to the altar tonight. You were there, Perry. Oh, yeah. The fellas really came to play. Uh, it's just indicative of the type of season we had. We got a great team. Uh, we're deep, and, and they just do the things necessary to win. Do you ever look back at your shoulder and say, hey, I've been snake bit once in a while, and I got this far? Well, I guess you can look at it like that, but you know, I've never felt bad because every time we've came up here, we've, we've, we've had a great season and, you know, just unfortunately we didn't win it. And a lot of times things are not meant to be, and I think that one of the virtues you have to have is patience. And we, we, we continually came back and uh, our patience has paid off for us. 27-0, you don't sneeze at that at all. You have the crown, but that is a fantastic record when you go through an entire basketball season. and. and you don't lose anything. No, that's right. That, 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 that's, that's tremendous. And also, Ray, the other thing that's tremendous is that we won the Triple Crown. We won the PSL Championship, the City Championship, and the State, and, and nobody else has done that. Uh, and, and that's just tremendous because it's very hard to win those three crowns. If you're a follower of Detroit Southwestern High School and the public uh, school basketball brand, you've had some great teams. And I know you go to a coach and say, hey, I can't compare teams in a where does this stack up? I'm not asking for a comparison, but when you look back now at 12 years, where does this team stack up talent-wise, desire-wise, and of course you get the crown too, but when you look at it. Well, this team really doesn't doesn't take a backseat to any team that I've coached or any team that's, that's been around. I mean, we play without Elton Carter, who's one of our top players and who's a, a Division I uh, a signee at Penn State, and they just showed you the type of depth. Um, in terms of comparison with other teams I've had, I mean, I've had some teams that could do things better than this one, but this team was just so talented and so deep, and they could just pound and beat you on the boards that it's just a great team. You bring up an interesting point, and that was the name that you mentioned, Carter. It had to be a frustrating evening for him to go down with the injury yesterday and sit there, and he's been with you all season long and can't go to that last game for you, the last mile. Right, and, and he's just such a class individual. I knew he was hurting. When we talked last night, he was hurting. Uh, but I think the guys decided to, to step up the intensity uh, uh, level because we knew we couldn't replace him with one man. And I think man set the tone uh, early in the game with that intensity level, and I think Jalen carried on, and we just wanted to make sure that Elton you know left here with some good memories because we, we didn't want him to be trying to shoulder any blame if we didn't get out of here with a win. Barry again congratulations and uh, take a rest now will you? All right thanks a lot Ray. There's a couple of guys that may not rest tonight they are prospectors let's go back over to Greg Kelser. Ray thank you very much and I've got two of the many stars in the game for Southwestern. First to my left we'll talk to Jalen Rosen. Jalen, just a fine job by you, not only tonight, but throughout the tournament and the season. Tell us, what does this championship mean to you? Well, it means a lot because Coach Watson been through a lot. You know, they always talk about the monkey on his back. And, you know, he came win a big one and everyone choked. So we figured we'd go out and win this one for Coach. He deserved it. Tell us some of the things you felt were important to coming out and beating this tough si uh, Saginaw team. Well, we felt if we came with our game, you know, used our depth, played hard in those defense, they couldn't contend with us. And that was the case. Garland Mance, perhaps one of the most intense players I've seen in a long time. Long time. You had your work cut out defensively. You had to come out and do a, a heck of a job on Jesse Drain. You were able to do that. What was the key to your success tonight? Just a lot of hard work throughout the season from coach. Just a lot of hard work, and I wanted to really win it for our coach and our team. And that's what, you know, the, the goal was, this shit was to win the state, and we was able to do that, and I'm happy. That was just the main thing. I knew I could do it. I just had to dig down inside and do it. That was the basic thing. Now, so many, many players play high school basketball, but very few get an opportunity to say that they played in a state championship game. Even fewer get to say that they won the championship. So tell me, personally, what does this mean to you? Uh, I feel wonderful. I'm just happy to be a part. If it weren't for coach, I wouldn't be here right now. It's just, I'm just real happy. Speechless for words. It's just a great feeling, feeling I've just been waiting on for four years, and I had a feeling. So. Okay, one other question. Jalen, you're going to be back next year. Question right now, I know you want to savor this, but can you repeat? So if, we, if we go back, rebuild, you know, work hard on our defense, you know, we're losing a lot of scenes, you know, we're losing Garland and Elton and Howard. So, you know, if we go back and work hard, you know, fine-tune our games, we should be back. So I ain't going to overlook anyone. You know, we're just going to work hard and we're going to try. So we're going to give it our best. Okay, great job, fellas. Again, congratulations to Southwestern. Rick, back upstairs to you.